In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me bless your day with this daily gospel reflection. The gospel reading for our reflection is taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. The theme for our meditation is, Pray Without Ceasing. The first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 16 to 18, we read, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In today's Gospel, Luke presents the parable with the following praise. Then, he told them a parable about the need to pray continually and never lose heart. Jesus presents two characters from real life. A judge who had no concentration for God and no concentration for others. And a widow who struggles to obtain her rights from the judge. The simple fact of indicating these two persons reveals the critical consciousness which he had towards the society of his time. The parable presents the poor people who struggle in the tribunal to obtain their rights. The judge decides to pay attention to the widow and to do justice. The reason is the following. In order to free himself from the widow who is pestering him and to get rid of her. This is a quite interesting reason, but the widow obtained what she wanted. This is the fact of daily life which Jesus uses to teach us to pray. Jesus says, You notice what the unjust judge said? Now, will not God see justice done to his elect? If they keep calling to him day and night, even though he still delays to help them? Will he make them wait long? I tell you, he will see justice done to them, and done speedily. If it had not been Jesus, we would not have had the courage to compare Jesus to an unjust judge. And at the end, Jesus expresses a doubt. When the Son of Man comes, Will he find faith on earth? Or rather, will he have the courage to wait, to have patience, even if God delays in doing what we ask him? The first Christians had an image of Jesus in prayer, in permanent contact with the Father. In fact, the breathing of the life for Jesus was to do the will of the Father. Jesus prayed intensively and insisted in order that people and his disciples also pray. For Jesus, prayer is intimately linked to life, to concrete facts, to the decisions which he had to take, in order to be able to be faithful to the project of the Father. He sought to remain alone with him, he listened to him. In difficult and decisive moments in his life, Jesus recited Psalms, just as any devout Jew. He knew them by heart. The recitation of the Psalms did not take away his creativity. Rather, Jesus himself created a Psalm, which he transmitted to us, the Our Father. His life is a permanent prayer. I always seek the will of the one who sent me. Prayer is the way we communicate with the Lord, our inner conditions, which be our need and our dependency upon God. All the prayers are not answered as we place them to the Lord. We need to wait with great hope for that day the Lord to work with our prayers. And I pray may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.